You want me to open this? Look at old nub. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Get it. Fight it. <laughs> she doesn't know what to do. No, not at all. She's like, what is that thing? <laughs> she never had one before. <laughs> oh. Ah, here's our out. <laughs> She got one toy. <laughs> and it's a ball. It's a little too big for your mouth. What a happy dog. You are happy. Oh, this is so itchy. <laughs> Can't go back to bed. Not allowed. Rude. Oh, this is just so she's just mad at Aries. <laughs> she lived with a dog. But she doesn't know him. <laughs> Sorry, Aries. <laughs> no, you could take a picture. Oh. It's Are you recording? I'm just recording. She does floss really good. She does floss really good. You see? IMHA, which is called Immune Mediated Hemolytic Anemia, which basically means his immune system is attacking his red blood cells. So he has very little red blood cells in his body. So right now I'm pulling some blood from a sampling catheter, which is a longer type catheter um, that flows a little better as far as the blood is concerned. So this way I can do a really quick test called a packed cell volume and that will tell us how much red blood cells he has in his body after his transfusion which he got last night. So what I've done is I've taken our blood that we have and I've put it into these little tubes here called microhematocrit tubes. You load them into our centrifuge and you gotta put a little top on it just to make sure your tubes don't run away. And you spin this for a couple minutes and once it comes out in our microhematocrit tube, you'll be able to see the difference between the red blood cells and the actual liquid part of the blood. And then we use uh, this little chart here to read how much percentage of the blood is the red blood cells versus the liquid. So we start the centrifuge, it goes for a couple minutes, and then we read. So here you can see the liquid portion of the blood, which is all up here, and then down here, the red part, those are all our red blood cells. Now, this is not the ideal color for the liquid portion of the blood. This is what's called icteric. Um, that typically means there's some sort of imbalance going on internally as far as like liver kidneys is concerned. But right now, we're not really worried about that. We're just worried about the percentage of the red blood cells right here. So, you take your, um, your microhematocrit tube and then you line it up appropriately so that the end of your red blood cells lines up with the liquid part at the top. So we gotta go a little bit farther, and I'd say that's good about there. So then you read it right where the red stops and the liquid portion starts. So right here, I'd say that's about 17%, which is actually quite good. Um, it's definitely up since his third transfusion, um, and from here, hopefully he can maintain it himself, and then he'll be able to go home.
Mm, they're gonna be sick. Okay, I'll give you love now. <laughs> there you go. Good boy.